Okay. GCDS. I felt like it was my responsibility because we have also kind of, I don't want to say trash, but we've made jokes, serious jokes about Machina on this show and how they take hitch and they take it too far. GCDS, I guess they're coming up behind them and scooping up that extra kitsch money with mm-hmm. this SpongeBob collection. Now, before I be mean, what do you think about it as an actual fashion design student? Oh, God, it's so awful. But who's going to wear this? There's things in, with throughout that are, like, less, like, literal and obnoxious. Mm-hmm. But overall, like, who's going to wear, like, this dress with, like, Patrick on it? And I know it's not cheap. That's the other thing. Like, this, I think, high fashion, you try to trend watch and trend forecast and blah, blah, blah. And you have to, you have no choice but to look to fast fashion because that's what the majority of the country and the world at this point is wearing. You have to take your inspiration where you can. And then I think, too, all you designers are watching each other. You're kind of copying each other, but trying to do it in a way that you think the consumer won't notice. I'm not dumb. You saw what Balenciaga did with The Simpsons, and you wanted a little bit of that free promo, that pop culture reference, whatever. But you took it too far because who's going to pay, yeah, three, four thousand for a dress with Patrick on it? Now, we might go to Forever 21 and pay 50. Hell, you might even go to Zara and pay a hundred for it if you're that girl. You know, you just you think it's funny. But we're not paying thousands for this look. And then you have some like look number four is like a denim set, less literal. It's just like the color of the bikini stuff that you have in here. I don't get that. Um, you, you have a few yellow looks that are basically the same as the pink. The denim stuff that you have, like look number nine, that looks like it belongs at area with your rhinestone. Oops. The, yes, the boots. And even those boots, like, I think Balenciaga has some of those boots. They're YSL. Oh, everybody, yes. Not at this point. Then you just took it all the way to the club in the strip club, okay, or the gay club, with look number 10 and these assless pants. Where can you wear these jeans? I hope it's nowhere to sit down. <laughs> because the entire back is open with just like strings gonna, of rhinestone. You're going to sit down somewhere and get hepatitis. Definitely. Or <laughs> monkey pox or whatever is out at the time. Yes. Now, one of my favorite looks from this show is look number 12. Um, mm-hmm. Love that they did a little plus size on the runway too. I, I appreciate that. But this is like Moto Mommy from Dion yes, Lee. Dion Lee. Yes. And then we all know that at this point, everybody's had like lavish uh cargo pants so buy mm-hmm. some lavish cargo pants for next season i really like look number 20 the color and the like fabrication of those cargo pants and the matching top and it doesn't have like the literal spongebob on it yes that is a very great look and like see this is the difference between taking inspiration from something and doing it tastefully like you know you're mm-hmm. supposed to as a design house and doing it like Forever 21, like H&M. You're supposed to take the inspiration from SpongeBob. The colors, under the sea, this, that. You're supposed to make cute stuff. And like look number 24, I like the idea of it if they only didn't make it so literal. Like why couldn't they just, you know, taking it some abstract to do the embellishment on this like sequin see-through dress? But this is awful. But she awful. looks great. She looks great. Casting is excellent for the look, but just like you said, I don't want to pay for this Patrick Star dress. I'm an adult. And I have to, I, as a person who grew up, you know, not in the best neighborhoods in California, I hate seeing a bootleg collection because I feel like if it's going to be bootleg, I can just go to the alley, Santee downtown, or I go to the sloths and I go to the swap meet and get a bootleg something from there with SpongeBob on it. But you're going to copy every designer's aesthetic and just put it in your show. How am I supposed to take you seriously? How am I supposed to respect you? You got to look Smith, Smith at the end of the show. Oh. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> What's oh, going Lord. on, GCDS? Tell me. Are you, uh, do y'all have a group chat? And when people send their ideas, you, you're the person in the group chat that don't respond. You just screenshot and everything. Like, yep, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. Yes. And then, like, towards the end as well, like, you see the samples that didn't make it to the Diesel show. They popped up here. <laughs> It's crazy. And there's a lot of like net mesh fish. I feel like for a runway, I don't want to see that because that's way too cheap. If it's not resort, 
and you're not a swimwear collection, why are you putting like vacation swim cover ups on the runway with Patrick and SpongeBob nipple covers? <laughs> Definitely. I don't. I don't appreciate that. Look number 36, very cute. And again, you could have took this is how you were supposed to do the inspiration. Not yeah. literal, but like I was inspired by the show, SpongeBob. I shout out to them on the casting. The styling mm -hmm. was good. A lot of this would have been just, it would have fell so flat without styling. And I want you next time, I want you to stop watching cartoons. <laughs> I want you to watch some real movies, find something with Nicole Kidman in it, something good with some good fashion and leave this behind. I'm sorry. I told yeah, you our favorite look. Idea. It worked for them getting the promo. Yeah, you you in that promo because that Patrick Star dress on the black model that was everywhere. That was the viral look from the show. I guess goal accomplished, mission accomplished, self respect priceless. <laughs>